so in this question it's given that two cars a and b are moving along in a straight line car a is moving at a speed uh, of 80 kilometers per hour and car b is moving with a speed of 50 kilometers per hour in the same direction find the magnitude so one and direction of the relative velocity of car a with respect to b okay so and the relative velocity of car b with respect to a so what is relative velocity so our first task draw a diagram let's say this is car a okay a and this one is car b okay now what is happening uh, two cars a and b are moving along a straight line that's done car a is moving at a speed of 80 kilometers so let's say v and i am writing a subscript a v a in this direction and v a i know is v a is 80 kilometers per hour 80 kilometers per hour and v b is 50 kilometers per hour now it's not mentioned whether um a is initially moving towards b or b is moving towards a so let us assume this is the case okay this is v b fantastic now what it's only given that cars a and b are moving along in a straight line car a is moving at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour while car b is moving at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour in the same direction find the magnitude and direction of relative velocity of car a so relative velocity of car a with respect to b is written like this v a b so relative velocity of this is i'm saying relative relative velocity of a with respect to b correct so v a b is given by v a minus v b v a minus v b okay so whatever is the velocity of a minus whatever is the velocity of b and if you see what is velocity of a 80 kilometers per hour towards right and b is 50 kilometers so hence minus 50 kilometers per hour i'll have to take you know if, uh, both va and vb are in the same direction so simply minus let's say if they were in opposite direction then i would have done va minus minus vb understood right now va and vb in this case are in the same direction so hence this is 80 and this is 50 so difference is 80 minus 50 let us say va would have been so it's better to also say see cases like this like that okay so va towards right vb is right so let's say if you take towards right as positive then automatically this will become minus 50 so hence relative velocity would have been va minus vb 80 minus minus 50 okay so that will be nothing but 130 right in this case 30 so you got the difference so if the velocities are in the same direction so they simply subtract the magnitude so what is the value guys 30 kilometers per hour now what does it mean let's say if va and vb are same va is equal to vb let's take that case in an aeroplane you are moving so your co-passengers are having same velocity like you and that is equal to the aeroplane's velocity now you and your co-passenger appear to be rest with respect to each other but someone who is in the ground or someone who is on other plane or or moon or sun wherever he will see that both of you are moving together with the same velocity so that's what is the relative velocity understood so inside the plane the co-passenger is appearing to be at rest with you with respect to you correct why because both of your velocity are same and in the same direction so hence v minus v becomes zero okay so they appear to be at rest with you but let's say if in the same plane one you know you just get up and start moving towards the uh, pilot's cabin let's say you start moving then let's say you are a you are person a and vb is your co-passenger sitting at the same spot then he will see that you are moving away from him isn't it though he is also moving let's say at a speed of 800 kilometers per hour which is the speed of the plane and you also are moving with 800 kilometers per hour when you are sitting on the on your seat and then you get up and you started moving towards pilot's cabin 
with let's say five uh, or one meter per second speed something like that or in in in, in the same units we will have to take but let's say something so what will happen the u will appear to be moving with one meter per second with respect to b right so vb the the person b will see that you are moving away from him at one meter per second speed only isn't it same is the case here guys right so hence now someone who's uh you know at the, the relative velocity of car with respect to b right so the b person b or the car b would find what that you are the a is coming towards you with this speed okay so he will feel that v a or the car a is coming towards car b with this much speed right towards b correct now what is the other way around v b a what would a passenger in car a feel about b okay so v b a is simply you know that v b minus v a now what is v b 30 kilometers per hour okay 30 kilometers per hour and what is v a is 50 kilometers per hour sorry sorry my bad it's not 30 it is it is 50 this one is, sorry let me cut it or let me just undo it okay so v b so what is v b guys v b is 50 kmph and minus 80 kmph correct it comes out to be minus 30 kilometers per hour what does this mean right so v b or v a will see that v b is moving minus 30 kilometers per hour away from him that means this is 30 kilometers per hour towards a right so hence passenger of a would see b to be coming towards a let me use this color and so hence this is v b a okay so if you are in passenger a's position car a position so the car b would be appearing to be coming towards you isn't it with time and eventually you guys will collide okay because you have a because a has a higher speed and the passenger b here will see v a to be coming with this velocity towards b 30 kilometers per hour isn't it so this is what is the concept of relative velocity so always remember velocity of a with respect to b is v a minus v b okay and velocity of b with respect to a is vb minus va like that so i hope you understood this problem now let's go to second problem